I'm Evelyn Reyes. I am Araminta Romero. And you're watching Boston Latino TV from Cultura Viva. This is the epicenter of Latino Boston. I'm sure you can feel it in the music, in the food, in the wonderful positive energy that we feel here tonight. What is important about your support is that it not only puts paint brushes and palm gas on the hands of young people, they steer them away from the streets to a safe environment. Very special night in uh, the South End as we really dedicate uh, this art gallery to a well-known individual as we move forward in the, the celebration of the cultural community. came into Boston to manage the public relations and philanthropy program for Verizon, one of the first places I set foot with philanthropy dollars was right here at EBA. I came here many years ago and my idea was how could I make my mark here, how could I make my ideas flourishing here. And being recognized specifically by this institution is really, really important and special. Something of this nature, what it means for someone like me is the fact that it's another reason to continue the type of work that we do for our community and particularly how we engage our community, not only in the social issues but also the civic issues and how we can be cultural agents of change and I hope that others will continue this time work of the ones that came before us and those who come after us. We are standing on the shoulders of, of people who over 40 years ago fought for the rights of staying put in their community. No nos mudaremos de la parcela 19 was the rally cry to stay in this community. So every year we uh, award and provide recognition to one of those people who founded EVA and the community of Villa Victoria. This year I have the honor to present the Jorge Hernandez Founder Award to the family of Doña Paula Oyola in her memory. I think it's so exciting to have so many new friends and so many old friends here tonight. We expect about 400 people, so we're going to have a full house just to not only enjoy Latino arts and culture, but also to celebrate the work that Eva does and to also celebrate the new name of what used to be La Casa de la Cultura, which is now going to be formally known and named the Villa Victoria Center for the Arts. So you're getting it through Boston Latino TV. I hope you've enjoyed today's programming as much as I and Ada did. It was really good, it was fun as usually, it was fresh and casual, I love it. And everyone was beautifully dressed and you especially are wearing some lovely jewelry. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, of course I can tell you a little bit about this. This is jewelry from Catalina de la Torre. She's an international designer that she actually lives here in Boston and she is selling this all over the world, you know, in Asia and in Europe. She it's one of the most amazing newest yearly uh, designers that actually are living here in America. And guess what? We are going to have her at the Access Awards. Make sure you save the date for the Access Awards 2009, and that is May 28th. At Underbar and in Boston. But of course, thanks for watching. <laughs>